Nursing 474, Promoting Healthy Communities Using Multi-Level Participatory Strategies. The weekly learning objectives are to explain the current impact and threats of infectious diseases on society, explain the steps and principles to guide community health education, use evidence-based practice at multiple levels of the patient system, individual, family, aggregate, and community, choose evidence which will support community health initiatives, initiatives, and prepare a comprehensive review of the literature associated with your identified problem. The ecological approach to community health promotion. Viewing clients from the perspective of the biological model alone makes it difficult to identify healthy health potential beyond the absence of disease. Studies show that there is a better way to promote health and improve the quality of life of individuals than through basic healthy habits. The disease-oriented perspective views health objectively and defines it as the absence of disease or within the context of how clients comply with recommendations of health professionals. The ecological model defines health subjectively as a life process recognized the human complexity and the interconnections with the environment. The disease-oriented approach directs nursing toward illness prevention, risk appraisal, risk reduction, prompt treatment, and disease management whereas the health-oriented approach directs nursing practice toward promotion of greater levels of positive health. Because positive health does not exclude any part of the life process, including illness prevention and illness care, it goes beyond the disease perspective to include positive and holistic health. Ecological perspectives on population health. Because individuals Individuals ultimately make decisions to gauge in healthy or risky behaviors. Lifespan improvement efforts have focused typically on the individual as the target of care. Health behaviors extend beyond the individual or the interpersonal and the interpersonal levels, having multiple determinants both internal and external to individuals and communities. As a result, interventions to initiate or maintain healthy behaviors have a greater potential for success when directed systematically toward the multiple targets of the individual, family, group, community, and society. That is, when they use an ecological approach to the community health program. Social determinants of health. Social determinants of health are circumstances in which people are born, grow up, live, work, and age, and the systems put into place to deal with illness shaped by a wider set of forces such as economics, social policies, and politics. There is an increasing awareness that to achieve latest gains in population health, assessments and interventions must be directed to multiple levels of the client system, like those outlined in um, the SDOH. Farley and Cohen's the Social Determinants of Health, SDOH. Farley and Cohen curve-shifting principle complements the ecological model and calls for targeting health interventions at the population level, building on the relationship between individuals and group behavior. A focus on the total population instead of just high-risk populations, with efforts to change the social norm that shifts everyone's behavior, exemplifies the curve-shifting principle. Another example involves the built environment that is, physical parts of the environment in which people live and work. People's behavior will change based on targeted interventions to the environment in which they live and work. An integrative model for community health promotion. Laffey and Colbeck's model for community health promotion is based on both the health and the disease perspective. Clinical strategies may be similar within the two, however, the ultimate goal of each perspective contains fundamental differences. These differences are seen in the specific purpose of nursing care, to promote well-being or prevent disease. The model includes two major dimensions, client system and focus of care. Client system refers to the multiple levels of client toward which community-oriented nursing is targeted. The focus of care within the model is health promotion illness disability prevention, or illness care. Nursing care within this model must extend beyond resolving a specific illness to preventing the illness and promoting optimal health for the individual, the family, the aggregate, and the total community. The integrative community health promotion model 
reflects the basic beliefs and values of holistic nursing and healthcare practices at all, all levels are important to the health of the community and its populations. Assessing health within health and illness frameworks. Illness prevention. In a risk appraisal, a second type of secondary prevention, information supplied by individuals about their health, health practices, demographic characteristics, and personal and family medical history is compared with data from epidemiological studies and used to predict the individual's risk of morbidity or mortality and suggest areas in which disease risk may be reduced. The guidelines for clinical preventative services, uh, the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force created this guide um, and it provides the most recent recommendations for, for preventative interventions including immunizations, screening tests, counseling, uh, chemo prophylaxis regimens for numerous illness and conditions. Many of these preventative measures are routine nursing interventions. HRA, or Health Risk Appraisal Instruments, are convenient tools that determine individual risks. Wellness inventories are different from most health risk appraisal instruments and guidelines for preventative services because they tend to define health risks more broadly and emphasize health promotion as well as disease prevention and risk reduction. Although all health risk and wellness appraisals aim to empower clients to take healthy actions and provide direction for counseling and education, they have limitations such as validity and reliability issues outside of the specific population of intent, overemphasis on lifestyle, little attention to environmental hazards and healthcare access issues, and lack of cultural sensitivity. They also have limited impact on the younger population to change poor health practices or population with limited ability to change their lifestyle because of living restrictions that restrict participation in decision making or encourage risk taking not conducive to good health. Another major concept in integrative and ecological approach to community health promotion is community. The Institute of Medicine's 1988 report, The Future of Public Health, highlighted the importance of community in its statement that the mission of, the public health, of public health is to assure conditions in which people can be healthy by generating organized community effort to prevent disease and promote health. Community is more than a sum of individuals, families, and aggregates within it, and that interaction among them must be considered for any real change to occur. The concept of community is kind is not easily integrated into nursing practice. Practice, Therefore, nursing interventions directed toward the individual within the community has been favored more than community or system level interventions. The population health focus of public health nursing is not reflected in practice activities, managed priorities, or educational preparation of public health nurses, and there is an ongoing need to expand education and outreach to nurses regarding their roles and responsibilities. When community is defined from a systems perspective, humans are viewed within a hierarchy of natural systems, and the health is a function of harmonious relations among the levels of hierarchy. Any change that occurs in one level has a corresponding change in all levels. The community as partner model includes eight major community subsystems with the basic core being its people. A community health assessment must include information about the subsystems, patterns of interaction among subsystems, and total community interactions with systems external to it. The Los Angeles County Public Health Nursing Practice Model uses the scope and standards of public health nursing practice, the 10 essential public health services, Healthy People 2020 leading health indicators, other local indicators, and their interventional wheel as their uh, community model and frameworks. Interprofessional application to nursing and public health. Community-based participatory research, um, CBPR, the aim is of community and public health nursing is to create partnerships with individuals, families, groups, and communities to prevent, promote their health. Grounded in epistemology and critical social theories, CBPR provides the philosophy and theoretical basis for forming partnerships 
and collaborating with the community. As the partnerships become more active, community members become more involved in assessing, planning, implementing, and evaluating their own change. Ideally, the community members are able to take a leadership role using the health professional members for consultation. The Community Health Advisor Program is a participatory health promotion program that builds community capacity through voluntary community health advisors. Photo Voice Method and Projects Photo Voice is a novel method used in CBPR projects that integrates the strengths of social support and engagement, building local capacity to identify and address community concerns. Photo Voice allows participants to photograph contemplate, and then visualize stories or simple descriptions about their photos taken in response to a particular prompt, thereby allowing their voices to be heard, increasing project buy-in and necessary compliance to adhere to change behaviors. Application of the Integrative Model for Community Health Promotion um, the first is infant mortality, so illness care would be programs that address infant mortal mortality across four client systems. Illness prevention, pr programs that address well-balanced nutrition and child care, and then health promotion, programs that address teen pregnancy and high-risk pregnancy. And then we have application of the integrative model for community health promotion related to obesity and the built environment. Illness care are programs that address obesity across the four client systems. Illness and disease prevention are programs that address healthy nutrition and regular exercises. Exercise. Health promotion are programs that address adoption of healthy lifestyle and self-efficacy are presented. 